The people of the state of Oregon have the right to instruct their legislatures, and the deliberations of this body are open. It says so right in the Oregon Constitution. Article 1, Section 26 says, no law shall be passed restraining any of the inhabitants of the state from assembling together in a peaceable manner to consult for their common good, nor from instructing their representatives, nor from applying to the legislature for redress of grievances. And Article 4, Section 14 says, the deliberations of each house of committees and of each house or joint committees and of the committees of the whole shall be open. You might not agree with my reading of the Constitution in the same way that uh, maybe I don't agree with the uh, representative from the Emerald Empire's uh, definition of disorderly. You may not believe the Capitol should be open to the citizens of this state during this session. You might believe that a big screen TV on the front steps makes it open, or virtual meetings, even though not everyone has internet, which is why we have to raise taxes so that everyone can have broadband, but I guess people who don't have broadband won't be able to participate in the virtual sessions. I guess they can go down to their library and get it on the internet there, but I forgot their library's closed, but I digress. Now you're considering expelling a member for the first time in history because he thinks that people should have access to their capital, especially during session. I think that the citizens of Oregon should be able to instruct their representatives. I think people from interest groups and industries should be able to apply to the legislature for redress of grievances in person, in the building. It's June 7th, June 10th, and we're three weeks from the end of session and the building is still closed to the public. We're all good, after this session, we're all gonna go out to dinner or stop at the grocery store, or maybe tomorrow we'll shop and buy clothes or get our oil changed, because all these places are open, but not this building. You can let this be tried in the media and come down to summary judgment on the floor like we're doing here. You can choose to skip the House Committee on Conduct and just do it now, there's no reason to hear both sides and have at least something resembling due process. The party in power doesn't have to be fair. Might makes right. So if that's what you want to do, let's, let's do what the people have sent us here to do. Let's decide. That's what we do. We're deciders. Let's decide and let's do it in front of the people. Thank you, Madam Speaker.